good morning. Hang on, I've got my earmuffs on. Oh, I'm getting a little bit later because I'm pushing the envelope here. Hang on, wait a minute. There we go. I'm just checking a couple of things to make sure I've done all my posting and everything's good. And we have sound, which it looks like we do. I've lost the chat room already. There you go. G'day, Jared. G'day, Roscoe. G'day, Chad. G'day, Captain Ken. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I'd do that, Ken. No, get hair in me mouth. G'day, uh, Theo. G'day, Randy. Theo, I'm sorry, Trevor. I'm sorry. I mean, good. I <laughs> good morning, Trevor. How are you? Oh, mate, I tell you, been busy, busy, busy on the downhill slide now. Just haven't got long to go, and these blinking things are going to be finished. Didn't have time to finish my breakfast this morning. Didn't have time to tidy the shed up. Excuse me, last night. Oh, I didn't do an introduction. There you go. G'day, I'm Steve Hay. This is Woodworking Masterclass, or as we're calling it now, A Day in the Shed with Steve. Thanks for joining us. Hope you get something out of it. If you want to ask any questions, go right ahead. I'm not sure if I can fit a live demo in today because I am a little bit tied to the pump. Um, but we'll see how we go. I've got to make a bit of space here on the bench so I can bring all this stuff in and... Oh, now we're catching up. It's all good. G'day, Wombat. G'day, Tundaris. There you go. Go, welcome. Haven't seen your name in here before. First time in. Welcome to the workshop. Ah. Uh, He cooped up all day in Texas, East Texas. Captain, can I tell you what, mate? I wish I was in Texas right now because Texas for me is three hours down the road and it's nothing. And that's where I get my timber from. But we've got border controls in place now and I'm 1.4 kilometres into the next state. So I've got all that hassle to put up with. Unfortunate, but doesn't matter. The timber will be there when all this is gone. I'll go back in there. Prunella, queen of the moderators. How are you, my darling? Oh, let me just throw this down my neck because the big fella will be in here fairly soon. He'll be wanting his breakfast. And I'm processing in my mind what I've got to do. I'll show you what I've done. Mm. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm like you, Ken. I've got sheds full of timber here, but I love getting out into the bush with a chainsaw. Me and three chainsaw, I'm in heaven. Occasionally take a mate along with me, um, just in case I have an accident, and he helps me pick heavy things up, which is good. Mmm. Bobo can finish that. <laughs> right on cue too. There you go, look at that. He must have been waiting outside the door. Are you waiting outside the door? Hmm? Good lad. Lazy didn't even get up for a chocolate biscuit this morning. He's lying on the bed and feed me. So I had to feed him. Oh dear, what have we got here? Good morning, Louise. How are Andrew and Isabel all well? Can you believe it wasn't long ago we were having coffee together? How good is that? G'day, Jeff. Oh, and mate, I, I'm with you. I wouldn't be that squirrel for anything. I think it was you sent me that life, doesn't matter how bad life is. If not, I'm sorry, but some, someone sent me a very, very funny um, picture. And it was this poor squirrel in a very precarious and uncomfortable position. Uh, you finished? All right, go away. Let me alone. A few hundred acres. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, no, that'd be nice. Just to get out there and wander, you're right now. Can I can I put this away? All right, you good? All right. 
Good. Shove off. Leave that there and mum can pick that up when she comes down. All right. Now you're welcome to come in, but you either come in or you stay out. Take your pick. He's not too sure. <laughs> He's got to make a decision. He's not happy with that. All right, here are the hearts. I've got one more coat. I'll rub them back and then I've got a coat to put on them. And they're all... It's easy to move the camera. They're all ready to rock and roll now. There's one that I did notice had a big chip. This one here, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to clean that up and put a bit of wax in there, which we might do just about in a second. Ah, Brian, g'day, mate. What is the best stone for sharpening chisels and plane blades? Um, look, I, it's honestly, it's a matter of choice, Brian. Uh, I know people that swear by water stones. That's all they use for best part of 20 years. Maybe 30 years, I don't know. That's what I used. It's the same one. Whoops. Come here. That's a, a, a Norton's oil stone, aluminium oxide. I've got two. That's that one there, which is the one I use most of all. And then there's this one here that, that is a lot coarser. So if I get a bad neck, that's what I do, but on the main, on the main, I use the Tormic sharpening system now, but prior to being spoilt and having that, that's what I used to use, just aluminium oxide. Uh, uh, Whetstones, yeah, look, people swear by them. For me, they wear too quickly. So I don't use them as a rule, but there are some excellent water stones on the market. <laughs> Here we go, let's, let's see how good I am. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They will fit. Let me get a little bit of a tidy up here so I can see what I'm doing. I've got rubbish all over the floor. It's been the mayhem. I was, well, I finished the stream yesterday. Then I went and had a nap for about an hour. So that would have been 12.31. I was back down here at two o'clock and I finished at 20 to 8 last night, so I'm pulling some big days for an old fella. But I promised I would get these out or finished tomorrow. I didn't say what time tomorrow. It might be midnight tomorrow. I don't know. But it will be tomorrow. And then next week, oh, breathe a sigh of relief. We can just chill out and take it easy. Well, I can take it easy, which I'm looking forward to. Oh, terrific, Jeff. You finished the, the dog and built a wishing well. How did the dog come up? Can you send me a photo of that with the um, ebonizing? That sounds extraordinary. What I didn't mention for those of you that watch the ebonizing sections, if you've got a timber and you ebonize it and it doesn't darken, it's because it doesn't have any tannin in it or very little tannin. So the way you overcome that is soak it in a strong cold tea solution for about a day or two, two days if you like. And then allow it to dry however long that takes. Then do the ebonizing and you'll find it'll take because the tannin that's in the tea will go into the timber and when you put the ebonizing solution in with that, it will react. So we can trick it. We can trick it if we want to. Oh. No, do I need that? No, I don't. I think that is one of the very first times I've gone on and we've had everything working, isn't it? Oh, I haven't got mute up there. Let me just put mute up on this so I don't get... Feedback, that's why I'm surprised I'm not getting feedback from it. There you go. Oh, good. Is that, I'm just checking all that. That's all good. 
Hum, ba -dum, boom, boom. Got to get a pint of espresso. Oh, oh no. I Send me some. Email me some. I could do with a coffee. I am hanging. I'm, tomorrow's my 14th day. For those of you that are wondering why I'm saying I'm on lockdown and Australia isn't officially on hard lockdown. I think it is on the lockdown per se. I was talking to a, anyone else can clarify this. It'd be good. I was talking to a friend in New South Wales yesterday and he said the, the town he's in, apparently you can only go out if it's for emergency stuff, you know, doctor's appointment or you need food or something like that. But you can't just go out and, well, you can't go out and have a drink now anyway. The pubs are shut, the bottle hose are shut. Um, so, yeah, mine was self-imposed. My son, one of my sons, who lives with us, he had pneumonia. And the doctor wanted to put him in hospital, but said he would be safer at home, providing nobody came in or nobody went out. So 14 days is up tomorrow, and I'm going to go to Bunnings, and I'm going to find the coffee shop that's got a coffee that I can drink. There you go, it's all good. Hang on, I've gone a bit wide there. In the chat room, I'm, I'm missing. Let me just move that over, there we go. Now I can read it all, you see. I tell you what, the scammers are still out in force, aren't they? Oh, just gives you the irrits. <coughs> Oh, thanks, Brian. Appreciate that. Now, let's see where are we up to. Um, Mitch is snuck in. G'day, uh, g'day, Mitch. How are you? Welcome to the workshop. Um, well, the main thing is, Jeff, you think so. G'day, John. Welcome to the workshop. First time in, I think. I can't remember your name coming up before, so welcome. Got any questions? Ask away. So what you having for brekkie? What I had for brekkie was one shredded wheat with fruit salad and milk, just the way Bob likes it. Ah. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I'm getting there. I'm just going back to these. Where are we? Dear, oh dear, I wish this would not jump around all over the place. Oh, thanks, Mitch. I found you now. No, you're more than welcome. It's nice to, nice to put a, <laughs> to put a text to people that are watching. So there you go. Oop. I had an interesting. <laughs> I'll let me rant in a minute. I had an interesting comment today. Um, somebody was asking about a video, long grain, short grain, when carving, and I'm racking my brains. I, I couldn't quite get the gist of what they were after. So I had a look at the video that the comment was linked to and there was one Mike Davies did from <laughs> Record Pound. I wonder I couldn't remember it. So we got it sorted anyway. We got it sorted, which was good. Oh, yeah, getting back to scammers. I got one this morning and tell you what, it was so close to a YouTube <laughs> email address. And it just looks exactly the same as email, emails that uh, YouTube sent out. <sighs> Whenever you get one, something like that, you, you're a bit sus. Always look at the email address. And this was <sighs> a no reply at no reply such and such dot com 
DE, which I found out was Germany. But yeah, saying, oh, you have breached copyright laws, we're suspending your channel. Um, this is going to happen to you and that, and we're not doing this anymore. And click here to find out why. Yeah, sure. No, thanks very much. Not clicking, not nowhere. Ah, right. At least I can see my bench, that's a start. It's not often you get an audience when you clean up, is it? Now I've lost me. It's good though, because you can tell me where I put things like, where did I put my mouse? Here we go. I hope this doesn't wreck everything. I'm just going to de-dash my mouth. Ah. Bum -ba -dum, bum -ba -dum. I'm back up to Captain Ken. I have to cut it down, mill it, but I have multiple sources. Oh, I'm coming to your place, Captain Ken. Oh, there, I just got finished with Mitch. There you go. Welcome to the Chaotic Commenting Sphere. <laughs> Uh, dear Brian, what is the best stones? Oh, I've answered that one. I had a productive day, finished off the dog. We've done that one. Awesome. Did you ebonize? Done that. Oh, I told you what I had for Brecky. <whistles> hey, Lucas. G'day, Julian. Okay, Trevor, no, 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 not Theo. <laughs> Quote from a young lady on the radio yesterday, in 20 years from now, Australia will be run by people who were homeschooled by a pack of drunks. <laughs> I'm not... Um, mm, mm, mm. But don't get me started. It's no big deal for us because we were homeschooling our grandkids, well, one of them, anyway, so the other one just fits in. It's great. I was using Birch, so I use... Gee, first I should say, oh, terrific. Thanks, Jeff. Very good. Morning. Morning, Max. I am catching up. Uh, 30 days of lockdown. Oh, Lucas. I think we're all going to reach that the way it's going. It's all good. Now, see, it jumps again. I've got up to 30. Mm. Uh. Is that right? I've forgotten what the question was. <laughs> um, um, oh, yes, yes. Okay, got it, got it. Now, as far as I'm concerned, Bunnings is a, is a must because I've got to do it so I can do streams. There you go. Yeah, look, I know, Max, but gee, they're annoying. They take up so much of your time. I would get 30 emails a day at least telling me that when my website's got a mistake. The only mistake is they're sending me, I don't care. That's good to hear, Mitch. I oh, don't be, that's a brilliant dog, I love it. Mate, it's got mischief written all over his face. If you can get someone to, if you want to, get someone to help you to post it on the chat room, people can go and have a look. I think you upload it to Pixel or one of those things, then you put a link and people go and have it. I love it. It's got the cheekiest look on his face. Tondaris, yeah, I don't know what they do either. They should, you know, why don't they go and collect rocks or something? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, look, diamond stones are good too, but I find they're pretty aggressive. I use them um, a lot when I was, did a lot of sharpening, but for my money, get an aluminium oxide, combo stone, it's got um, carborundum on one side, which is grey. Aluminium oxide is orange, you want a fine one, and you don't use the grey one, you just use that. That stone there that I showed you, as I said, I've used that for over, gee whiz, I would have bought that in 96. So there you and I was 20 years old, 96, 2006, 20, 24 years old. And um, if you want to know how to dress them and look after them, I have got a video on the channel 
flattening, uh, flattening sharpening stones or flattening oil stones. Check it out if you want to know how to do that. If not, later on give me a live demo. Not today. G'day, Dennis. Is Ruth up? I, I appreciate you hanging in there. That's good. Did you have good sleep? G'day, Panda. I've been dying to ask you since I went to bed last night. Will linseed oil work for wood that will be used as a shower platform? Nah. Um, no, nah, it's not waterproof. You're much better off. I mean, if, if you, you'd use it and then it'll get wet and it'll let the water in, so it's, it's not waterproof at all. You're better off with a, um, a flooring uh, varnish or something. I did have... I did have a tin of it here, or did I take it up? I might have taken it up to the shed. I oh, just wonderful. There are other products around. Ah, uh, dear. Oh, here's a Libron. Oh, that comes on. Here's a Libron one. That's a floor one. It's clear mat. That's hard gloss. Um, blend of premium quality oil and wax for protecting floors and furniture. Makes surface waterproof. And stain resistant, ideal for use throughout the house. Provides a long lasting, smooth and durable finish. Damn, I should have used it on the box. Ah, oh, so there you go, that's. And Carol, if you're watching, I miss our, I miss our coffees. Carol's a lovely lady who has um, Libron in Australia. Uh, the other thing, you, you could get a decking oil. That'll work. Go to the hardware shop and get a decking oil. I've got one out there that wasn't very expensive. I think it was $20 for four litres. Um, get those stupid emails all the time. Don't ever click. No, I don't either. G'day, Reginald. Welcome. Mark, my local green barn is Lilydale. Very friendly face and staff and reformed. There you go. That's if you can find them. Up here, they got Star Trek technology. Oh, customer coming, customer coming. Boom, they get beamed away. Murray, g'day. First time in. Welcome to the workshop. Uh, I've watched and enjoyed the last couple of weeks. Hey, you're more than welcome. The more, the merrier. Um, Dennis, I, I will only get it wrong once. Yes. Yes, I know. I know the training regime under which... You refer, <laughs> but it's fun. Oh dear, Julian, back now, lots of caffeine. <laughs> I can feel it from here, I'm buzzing. <sighs> G'day, Brian, mate, love that leather work, absolutely superb. And that one of the guys leaning on the pub, Brian does um, leather work and woodwork and was gracious enough to send me a couple of pictures of his work yesterday and if anyone wants to do that they're more than welcome my ad, my email address is admin at woodworkingmasterclass.com.au love to see what people are doing and uh you know it's another area of contact i suppose but brian does absolutely stunning work with leather and he's got one that i just love reminds me of when i used to live in the bush just a bunch of bushes leaning up against a bar having a beer and a bit of a yarn so maybe things of the past, who knows? Ah, good on you, mate. Excellent. All right. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm betwixt and between at the moment. I, I really, really am not sure. We've got to do some leather um, inside trays for the boxes. I'm just having a look here to see if I can find the route a bit I need. I'm not sure. I haven't seen it for ages. Uh, so I'm still here, people. I'm just looking. I'm looking. And it's not there. It's not there. It's not there. Hmm. Interesting. What am I going to do? Oh, that's a, that's a bit of a blow. Uh, aha. That's not it. Well, looks like, see and I can't find the round a bit I want. I, I remember I, I had three and I broke one, but I didn't think it was the 
the one that I want. I'll show you the bits. Oh, excuse me. That I want. I just let me just have a a better. When someone you say you're having a boy look. No, I'm actually not. I'm having a girl look. Ah, there you go. I had a girl look and I found it. Oh dear. Oh. So I don't know. I might um, might use the hollow plane on it, or we might use this. This is the round bit I want. Whoop. It's that shape there. And the that's the one whoever was talking about cock beating yesterday, that's the one I used for cock beating. So I'll just see. Oh, no, no, I think that's all right. We might, actually, I might even run that. We might go over and run that and see, because I'm, I'm pretty close there. And if that's the case, then I can we can put it through the sander and just even it out. Or I might just shove this through the thicknesser. I don't know. Thanks, Penella. Yeah, but oh, it's just, it's got atmosphere about it, mate. It's got atmosphere. Brian, I'm talking to, with the, the people standing around the pub. Mm. Professor John, you've got the wrong one in again. There you go. It's all right, John. We know who you are. Satch, everyone. From the old Twitch days. No, no, I, no point in looking in the router because I, I only use this one occasionally. Occasionally. Uh. <laughs> Good night, Dennis. See you, mate. Thanks for saying good day. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, look, I'm just going to... That is close. I think I'm just going to skim this because... How big is that box going to be? Oh, I don't know. It's going to be easier if it's if exactly the right size. Yeah, that looks too chunky, so I'll skim it. Who have we got... Sneaking in the James, good day. Ah, oh. well, you're more than welcome to hover, mate. James, just just hover. We won't talk about you in your absence. How about that? Ah, oh, Murray. Look, this is a personal thing. You have to make your own decision on. In my estimation, quite frankly, no. I've used them, and when they're brand new, they are spectacular. There is no getting away from it. When they're new, they're brilliant. When they start to get a little bit of um, edge on them, depending if you've got a solid spiral cutter, that one I haven't used, but I've used the spiral cutter with the interchangeable heads. When you change the heads 90 degrees so you get a new cutting surface, in Australia, they run into $10 each. I have got an inch pound torque wrench and you're meant to bring them, inch ounce torque wrench. You're meant to bring it down to 50 inch ounces of torque and they snap. And on a blade rotation, I would average cracking five, which cost me $50. When they start to wear, you do get marks in it. There's no doubt about it. Oh, you'll never get um, cutter marks or something. You do. Whereas with the straight blade ones, you just pull them out. You've got three blades to worry about, or two if you've got a small head, uh, and they work. The only plus, the only plus, and to me it's not worth the investment, is they are so much quieter. You've got a dust extractor on, you've got a spiral head. It's beautiful. Whereas, you know what a, uh, a full straight blade with the air, 
Well, you're going to hear it in a minute because I'm going out to turn mine on. Sounds like a jet or an aeroplane on the runway. So, in my honest opinion, no, they're not worth it. Um, but, you know, horses for courses. And the other thing is, it's like everything with woodwork. Here, I get the old man rants coming out of me. It's like everything in woodwork at the moment, they're making things so they're so safe and they're so easy, there's hardly any skill required. Whereas, if you get a board and you get tear out, which I did in a couple of these, you just take it out with a hand plane. Or you put it through a sander, or you use a cabinet scraper. So, short answer, my opinion, no. And I'll possibly get beaten and bitten and spat at it the street for saying that, but that's coming from 35 years of being a furniture maker. Well, that sort of backed me up, what Captain Ken was saying. Oh, Trevor, you are spoiled, rotten, fair thing, I'm coming up to your place. Tondaris, uh, I've never used a router. What would you look at when you say it might be too thick? Oh, okay. Good question. Here we go. What I want to do, if I can find a small bit, I'll show you, because I did have a, a bit here. There we go, is that it? Okay. This, this, this bit's a bit thin, so it's, it's a good, whoops, am I, I don't want that one, I want that one, there you go. This cutter here, the reading or beading cutter, what I want is the centre bit, I just want that round bit, I don't want to have any shoulders. So this piece of timber here, if you look, it fits right into that round cutter part. It's a little bit too small, but it would just give me a nice round. This piece here that I've machined up, it's just touching those shoulder cutters. And what that'll do, it will give me a round and then two flat pieces either side, which I don't want. So let's, there's nothing to eat, Bob. So let's go out to the uh, machinery shed and it's going to be noisy I'm going to run this and if it works I'll run the rest of the timber I've got and then we could set up the route a bit run the uh, bah, 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 um, tool route a bit over there get the bull nose that I want and then we can start cutting it up to put it in here so I hope that helped. Matthew, good morning. Going to try the Brasso in the morning. Had a dull finish on a box shellac finish. There you go. Give Brasso a go, mate. It's good, I'm telling you. Okay, let's go out. I'll take this out and Bob's going to come with me, I'm sure. So we'll take this camera out. Just cover your eyes if you're going to get vertigo. And um, I'll bring it out so you can see me do some stuff. Ouch! Out here. There we go. How's that look? What a matter, Bob. How much slack have I got there? Okie dokie. Well, we'll just take a tad off. We'll put my earphones. And we'll, we'll see. I'm just going to measure this with a pair of verniers. That's six mil. Okay, well, I'll bring it up to five mil. And we'll see what that does. 
Okay, this is where it gets noisy. Just so you can see what I did, let me go and get another piece that I haven't machined yet. So this was the thickness I had before, and you can see that the shoulders were touching on the edges, and I wasn't getting a bull nose, so I've taken a millimeter off and now that's going right in, so it's going to give me a nice round over, which I know. Where are we up to, England? <laughs> I love it, Jeff. Oh, I've got enough. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I've got six here, and then I've got a couple up the other shed. So I've got enough, Max. Believe me. <laughs> oh, thanks, Trevor. I, I like... I like everyone's faith in me. All right, I'm going to go and run all this other stuff. I might pull the roller door up. So I'm telling you now, my yard is a mess. Uh, where are we? There we go. I'm going to machine this up. Fifteen? I'm just machining this up.
Alright. Oh noisy, noisy, noisy. That's all good now. I'm just catching up to see if there's any rude comments from regulars. Hey, Sophia, welcome to the workshop. Pleased to have you along, join in the chat. I was wondering how long your business has been running in the green. Um. I don't know, what's the green? Is that the sort of like the black? <laughs> the main thing is, I don't know, I've been doing this for ages. So I couldn't honestly tell you that. Um, I know I've always got money in my pocket to buy a coffee. So I don't think there's any point in being in a business unless you're making money, put it that way. No, my, mine isn't that bad, Ken. I think a good one, a good one, Sophia, is if your income, yeah, if your income is less than your, your incoming is less than your out, yeah, if your incoming is less than your outgoing, your upkeep will be your downfall. <clears throat> No worries, Murray, Murray, no worry, Murray. No, 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 no. When they were back on the weather, oh, good. Oh, Steve, we don't make rude <laughs> Well, I'd prefer to think you made rude comments rather than honest observations. No, Tendera, so they, they, they just have a go at me. Because I'm going over to the router and you watch it explode now. <clears throat> G'day, Nada. How are you? All the way down to Tus... Um, Tusina? Is that Tusina? Well, welcome to the show. Okay, router. Here we go. Going over the router. I just met Susie, then she came down to do her, her segment and I was machining, so we couldn't do it. But we will. She'll be back in about 10 minutes, she said. So there you go. All right. Look at these box tops. Oh, I was busy. They're all, they don't look there. Look here. Now I was busy yesterday doing all these. Ah. These painter's points are great. You, you can play checkers with them if you had two colours. <clears throat> yeah, when I said rude comments there, they are, they are in jest and they're taken in good humour because I have got excellent moderators out there and if anyone really was rude, they would jump on them from a great height, I'm sure. Okay, let me just come in here and have a look at this. It's a great table, this one, I love it. Whoa, <laughs> there you go, I'm showing you all the good stuff and you haven't got the right camera angle. There we go. Oh no, I don't want that one, I want... That's what I want you to look at. There you go. <clears throat> oh. 
I like this, but <coughs> I don't like spindle moulders. I've only ever had one, and I never want another one. Okay, I had a, um, a quarter inch bit in there, so that was a quarter inch chuck. So I'm changing that back over to a half inch chuck and putting that one away. Look at that, see? I am partially organised. Well, nearly. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So now we'll put this one in. Bum, ba, da, bum. Now I'm not using the um, bearing. I never, well, this is my thought. Never push your out a bit all the way in because it has a bit of a, a round shoulder there and it can clamp on that and as you use it, it'll ride up. So I generally have mine all oh, about, what's that, 3 16th quarter of an inch up the shaft and lock it nice and tight. See if that's gonna work there, which it will. Drop the head down. Ugh. Call me OCD, but got to have the trademark pointing towards me. There we, whoops. There we go. <coughs> now, 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 now. I have to have this so I get the timber right in the middle of... Ah, I've not got any metal here. Right in the middle of the cutter. Which is there, so that's fine. I'll lock that, that's the right height. And now what I'm going to do is move it up so it just clears that. I'll do a test cut to start with. See how we go. Turn the dusty on. <clears throat> okay, so I'm taking a little bit more off the top than the bottom, which means it has to come up just a, just a fraction. So I'm getting even off of both sides, but I'm not getting my bull nose. So I've got to move the fence back a bit so I can go right down to the bottom of the radius. It only has to be a fraction. I think that's what I'm looking for. Just that little round over like that. <clears throat> Not that I think I would get a kickback on this because I'm only using a very um, thin piece, but I will put these in place anyway. There we go, that goes there. What these are, they'll allow the timber to roll that way, 
but then they've got these rubber stops. It won't come back the other way. It's got a one-way clutch on it, and it prevents getting anything surprises. Let's put it that way. And the reason those of you are wondering why people go, ah, not the real, the real. The only time, I've had a couple of kickbacks, looked at one a couple of weeks ago, on a live stream. But the only reason they happen is when I'm freehanding. When I'm using all these, it's as safe as houses. See, that won't come back. And you see it's turning there. And then all I do is... A little bit of pressure on this side and they both turn and they won't come back okay well we'll run those through I'm back here stop talking about me <laughs> what have we got da -da -da. <coughs> ah. Smash the like button and, and the, the subscribe button, please. If you're new and you'd like to get notifications, I'm streaming every day while this is happening around the world. Same time, every day, doing different things. For those of you that have, have just joined us, what I'm working on is um, some boxes. And the deadline is to have them finished by tomorrow. That's why I'm sort of focused on doing what I'm doing and basically you are watching me work as I would normally work in the workshop. Um, oh, look at that, huge. Thanks, Prunella. And thanks for keeping me, keeping me up there, Julian. <coughs> She's not kidding either. <laughs> No, no, it's the lathe Maxie doesn't like. <laughs> uh, no, the guillotine's a trimmer, finger trimmer for me. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I knew what you meant, Captain. I tell you, I hate them. They sound like an aircraft and they're, they're just as deadly as a propeller. Oh, no, I've got a few. The one you most likely saw was the, um, whoops, wrong one, was, let me go here, was my $2 special over here on this table. There's that one, which was my $2 special, or the other one's when I put a router in the vice, which <laughs> Ray's not on yet, but Ray hates that. But it's safe. It really is. It's all clamped in. Good morning, George, or oh, good evening, as you say. <clears throat> Do you feel that smaller pressure like box sell better than large ones like tables and chairs and or footlocks? Yeah, um, look, and again, it's it's what the market bears. Uh, what I want to do, what what I've wanted to do all year is make kaleidoscopes. I haven't got around to it yet. I've been busy with other stuff. Um, yeah, it depends what you like making. O obviously, there's more people who are going to buy boxes and tables and chairs. And here comes the boss. Um, so, yeah, smaller things, but I've, I've got... <laughs> now she's here. Look, Brian, I've changed. Hello, everyone. Now, <laughs> now I've got a blender bench down making for Susie for the kitchen. And um, I did say to her, if I keep this work right up, I reckon the bed will be finished by next Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on autopilot at the moment. You shouldn't say so. things like that because they'll put pressure on you. Oh, you reckon they don't? Dear, oh, there he goes, schnooks. I'm fine, thank you. Has it chillings? Yeah, good. You heard from the other one? No. Oh, we well, got news yesterday. We're going to have another grandchild, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, Trace, if you're watching, lie down, take it easy. Steve, if you're watching, get off. Don't be lazy and get her a cup of tea. There you go. So we don't know. We'd like it to be a Queenslander. 
Absolutely. But don't know. But we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, my son's delusional. He thinks that if he's born in New South Wales, he'll still be a Queenslander. No. Got to come out wearing a maroon shirt and maroon nappies. That's it. Yep, absolutely. A bit rough, though, because Mum's a South supporter. But you can't have everything. She's a nice girl besides that. Yeah. <laughs> All we've got to do <coughs> is work on the other couple. That's it. Who really wants to be a Queenslander. Yes. Even although she's not. But she, she should be. be. Duh. She, be. she has a choice. She ha That's it. Oh, you mean, oh, oh, um, um, um yes. G'day. Rita? Oh, I thought you were talking about Ray. Oh. oh, g'day, Ray, if you're watching, darling. Love you the bits. I'm looking forward to seeing you too. And bring mum out. You can both be queens. Landers. And Rita, are you watching? Da. <laughs> I miss you too, darling. Up here. <laughs> Tell my son to bring you up here. He can go back to Sydney if he likes. It's okay. No, he can't. He can stay here. With no, him. no, but once he's here. He, oh, he won't, we'll you see. Him trapped. That's it. Gone. Finished. All over. He's probably still in bed. But anyway. <laughs> Lucky them. <laughs> they, um, they sleep in now. They're not working. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, what's sleeping in for them? I don't know. I'm not even going to go there. That's it. Hang on. Let me just... Best look busy at least before Sue catches. Yeah. I'd... Trouble is the grandkids watch it and they dob me in. I was routing some quarter inch cedar and trying ah, to climb cut the piece. Oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, don't try climb cuts. They're not doing meh. I do them accidentally. <laughs> Brian says, oh, he's crawling again, still pushing for scones. Oh, well, what have we got up there? Nothing at the moment except for wet floors. You can't eat them. Well, I won't be up there for a bit, so wet floors don't. Maybe you can eat off them. Bob does. They probably could. He does. You hey, she went. Dog hair that I got off him. Well, that'd be Bob, not me. <laughs> well, I hope so. Well, they're the same colour. <laughs> oh, here he comes. The only real for don't start me, James. The... <laughs> are they still playing? Have they been? Um, have, they, have they stopped? Has the AFL stopped as well, mate? I don't know because I don't follow it. But yeah, NRL, boring. Uh, people are saying hello to see. You should read these. Why am I your receptionist? I have been asked, um, come and play English rugby. You know, it's... Although I don't mind the... the what do they call them? Super Cup? No, no, no. When they all get into it. Not a, not a scrum. Luke's right into Which, English. Ruck. Is it a ruck when they all get on top and belt? It doesn't matter. You thump your own team, yeah. mate. It's all good. Yeah. Luke's right into... Um, yeah, the English League. All cancelled. See, your footy's cancelled mm. everywhere. Oh, there was a great one on uh, Facebook the other day. Hi, that. bitch. I, I said... Um, Thank you. Um, um, uh, what did you say? Oh, you yeah, know sports for three weeks. I've discovered this gorgeous woman on my couch. Apparently, she's my wife. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, what are you going for us today, Chucky? We raise by lifting others. There you go. We'll show you. Is that what we're doing? We're trying. We're trying. Be. We're definitely trying. We rise by lifting others. There you go. See? She's a thoughtful girl. That machine must be melting out there with you. And how's your mask going? You're still doing masks? Haven't done any masks today, but I will get into them this afternoon. I've had a few people um, inquiring after other ones. And oh, cricket. Now, give it a miss, Prunella. One, one lady I was talking to yesterday said she wants faces on it with cheeky sayings or cheeky faces. Yeah, I reckon it'd be great. Forgot me teeth. I thought about Bugs Bunny teeth. Yeah, Bugs Bunny teeth. Vampire teeth. Or a big smile with, with yeah, teeth. Yeah. Or you can put animal faces on there. That's what I was thinking. Also, one with a big tongue coming out. Bit cheeky, but... Yeah, what was that one you did? Oh, um, ah, she did one with bras on it the other day. Guys would be fighting for that. Oh, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, which one? Who's that? Oh, 
I'm, I'm guessing that's hi, Papa. Hello, darling. How are you? So you're out of bed. Good on you. <laughs> um, it was a bearing guided hidden. Oh, I'm just reading Captain Kent. It was a bearing guided hidden cut inside edge of a small box. Needle says, yeah, well, that's the other thing. Um, if you're doing, you've got to think. If you're doing a climb cut, sometimes you've got to come on the inside of the blade. And, yeah, I don't like doing that because, to me, even though it's quite an acceptable and safe cut, your brain goes, no, nah, this isn't right. Ooh. So, let me go back here. Mitch loves your work. Have you heard of Alan Border Prunella? He was an, well, he was an Australian cricketer, he still is. I went to school with Alan. He used to play baseball. He didn't play cricket in those days. Chad wants to know how you are. I'm fine, thank you. That's it. Keeping busy, 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 busy. You were up and dressed before I woke up this morning, weren't no, you? Oh, yeah. That I slept into, oh, good date. It was, oh. <laughs> Just, ah, it's another day. But I come down here, I feel good. Yeah, good. It's got to be the lights. Right. Because it's solar power. So there are solar yeah, panels solar in the panels. top of my head. Mm. And when I walk outside, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a... <laughs> ah, it's all good. Uh... Hey, Louis, how you going, darling? Oh, there was a hide dad. Well, what's, what's, that's for Daniel Zuru, isn't it? Hmm? <laughs> what's, what's, oh, you can't. So you should ring me up and tell me what hello is. And then, what, what did I say? What did I say the other day, dear? Privet. Privet, darling. There you go. <laughs> These are all inside jokes because um, one of my other son's, Girlfriends is Russian and she is an absolute card. She really, she goes, she takes me on and we just have these terrific arguments and end up laughing. It's good. Love you both. Uh, Oi, my stream. Hey, you go and talk to him on your phone. Don't talk to him. <laughs> How you going, champ? Give Marley a pat for me and, and what's, what's, what's your dog's name, Rita? I've forgotten. Bella. Bella. Give Bella a pat too, but make sure you give Marley a bigger one. <laughs> it's I, I'm not going to say on stream what the whole saying is, but anyway. There you go. Privet. There you go. Privet. Gotcha. Oh, oh Wombat's into it. There you go. We're, this is it. We're crossing the boundaries. Hey, um, Rita, when you come up too, we get passion fruit slice. So even if you don't come up, will you tell her you're coming up so I can have some more passion fruit slice? That'd be really nice. It will. Panda says good day. So that's it. I'd better go and do some work, okay. I suppose. Bye, everyone. What? 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 What's your, oh, what are the kids doing? Are they doing schoolwork or? Schoolwork. School, schoolwork. Well, it's in our housework. We'll, 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 we'll do schoolwork. Yeah, that's right. I oh, know, no one's been good. You've got the clothes off the line. Is he? Ones on he's, he's trying all sorts of different <laughs> hairstyles at the moment, oh. bless his heart. No, don't. <laughs> Love you, Noe. If you're watching, you just go for it, mate. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Is Anthony out of bed already? Oh, it's only half past ten. <laughs> oh, I'm going to wear it when I get up to the house. No, oh, it's all good value. Okay, let me have a slurp. Oh, we'll go over and run these. Then we'll rip them. And then um, we'll run them again. Okay. Let us, let us go. Where are we? There we go. And if you can, run it so you're actually running with the grain. See, the grain pattern's going that way, so we'll run that one that way. 
That's got tear out, which we're going to have to fix, or I can cut around it, one or the other. That can go that way. That can go that way. That can go that way. I don't know if you saw me when I was doing the um, thickness thing. Sometimes the timber would be coming through one after another, and sometimes there was a weight. That was because I was changing the grain orientation on the timber. It's all very... Important you do it the right way. Prevents tear out. Okay, let's rock and roll, people. There's always something in the way, isn't there? in where I wanted it. So, I'll run that one again. Ah. That has a bow in it. So we'll do it this way. I'll just mark that one so I'll remember to rip the right side off. Right up with him. Shot these again. I was going to put them through the thickness, <laughs> get them straight. But it didn't happen. That's all right. You got to do these things on the run sometimes. The only downside with these, these rubbers stretch and they do perish, which is very disconcerting. But you can buy a replacement one, so I suppose it's not too bad. 
We we can we can cope with that. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I didn't have my ear, eye muffs on, did I? I should have had my eye muffs on. But I just grabbed the closest ones that were to me. <coughs> Oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you want to do, George. You've always got to move something. I, I've had huge workshops. Not mine, but I've worked in huge workshops. doesn't matter. You've still got to move stuff. Um. Oh, there you go. All right. There you go, Max. You, you caught me out. There you go, I've got my eye muffs there. These, these are great for those of you that have never seen eye muffs before. They're, um, I, I, go around the other way. They, they are ear muffs and um, whatever you call them. Eye protection in one. So you just, and you can get different lenses for them. So you can get dark smoky ones or you can get glare ones. That's how they're meant to look. Eye muffs. Reptilia. Well, I don't know if that's because George used to be a Tyler or what, but anyway, there you go. Oh. <clears throat> You finished a pint of espresso. Mate, I'd be banging by now. That'd be good. See you, Lucas. Catch you later, mate. No, I don't think it was. It was only touching. Oh, it could have been the dust extractor behind it. Oh, thanks, Prunella. Could have been the dust extractor making the noise behind it. Okay, now, what I want to do is cut this stuff up and fit it. Then when I've fitted one, we'll start cutting the bottom and putting leather on that. And we'll be good to go. Yeah, what were we saying? Was that George? <laughs> yeah, I want, to use, I want to use my table saw next. It's never big enough. Check it out. I've just got to... <laughs> oh, I've just got to move some stuff now. Oh. Now, they've all been shellacked. Now, what, where am I going to go next? I don't know. I might put a... Here, let me get rid of this because I don't need those at the moment. So I'll put those there. Provided I don't pull that cord out because then we'll lose everything. This can go next door. That can sit there. This can go over here because we'll need that sooner or later. That can go down there. My wallet can go over there. Oh, up. This oh, is very heavy. Oh, that can go there. And this is very, 
very heavier. Ah, crikey. I don't really want to put this one down on the ground because it's too hard to lift it up again. So I'll take it out here and pop it on the, oh, put it on the lathe. Whoop. There we go. That can go there. I'm starting to see daylight. Okay. Tis done. Tis. <laughs> After all that, I've forgotten. I've forgotten what I was going to do. Oh, I know. Yeah. Do these. Oh. Right, yeah. That, that was not as heavy as... Oh. Believe me, that one is not as heavy is that big black one there? That that is really heavy. That one. But anyway, it's all good. You can come in if you want, Bob. Come on, we've got no food though. All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to have to move some of that stuff off of that table because I'm going to be wanting to move use. That saw next. Oh. We'll just put some of this on the floor. <coughs> Don't drink that, Bob. All right, there's pure alcohol. You won't. I guarantee you won't like it. Um, that we got to do because we got to fix up any blemishes and mishaps. Now this, that's the best way to do it. Okay, we get the depth I want. <clears throat> no, not that one. We'll go that one. Okay, so the depth of the box is that, and I'll go three mil over whatever that is. So we'll go three mil over plus a mil for luck. That's going to be for there. So we've got to rip this bit to that thickness. So we've got one, two, whatever better we use this bit. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's go and rip this on the table saw. Then we'll cut a miter on it. And we'll see where we go from there. Now don't forget, there's no good setting your fence there because you're going to lose that thickness there. So set it on the inside of your saw like that clamp that and you've got a thin bit of wood so you don't need that much blade hanging out that should do that lock that off crank this up turn that on and wait a minute oh no that's all right and get that other bit in a minute. I'm just going to 
dock this here. Make sure I've got the right depth. Whoop! Didn't like that. That's the depth I want. It's a little bit bigger than I want, but that's okay because that means now I can plane it down on the bottom if I have to. Rather be a little bit too fat than not big enough. Now, measure, 230 internal. Put a 45 degree cut on it. Go over and do that. We'll turn this dust extractor off. And we'll turn this one on. And we'll drop 45 degrees. And see how we go. Not too bad. Two thirty. Square that up. So now, if I do that, it's going to be too long because I've got 230. I've got 230 on the inside of that cut. So when I do the cut, whatever that tangent is going to add it. So what I'm going to actually have to do, I mean, I could easily work it out. I suppose I could cut the other way, but I don't like doing that. I'll, um, I'm just going to have a guess and we'll see what it looks like. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, what have we got on that side? Yeah, I'll just, I'll cut these into, lengths first, because they've got a slight curve in the bottom. I haven't, well, when I machined it, it's obviously moved. So I'm going to cut these a bit bigger than they should be. And that way I'll get a 90 degree. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Okay, so we'll cut that one there. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Because they're so long, you see there's a gap Leave me finger. There you go. There's a gap between the fence and the timber. And when I cut that, that's going to snap back there and I won't have a 90 degree there. But if I cut it at 90 degrees now, I can guarantee you that's not 90 degrees. Put a square over it. You can't. You can't quite see, but it's it's not quite 90 degrees because when I cut this square, it was away from the fence. But having done that, now we can go back over and when I put this on the fence to do the mitre and 90 degree, 
you can see it's tight up against the fence, so that's going to give me a nice join and a square of cut. Just something to remember when you're cutting. So I'll cut these to length and we'll see how much I've got to, pl to play with. up under the rail behind here. Just see what we got there. I'll see how close we are. Okay, so I've got... <coughs> that's too big, obviously. So now all I do is I'll just mark there. And that has got to be this outside edge. So then if I've got a 45 degree heat scale here, we'll run that back. Move that. We'll run, that's the outside back of the cut. So now if we use that as the bottom point and if I draw a line at 45 degrees back it means if I put this this is all good theory now if I draw a line back on that if I put the saw in on that pencil line that should fit in there quite nicely. All right, let's have a look. That's the other um, thing. If you're ever cutting uh, anything in fills like this or anything, always cut the longest sides first because then if you stuff it up, you can use it on a shorter side. Whereas if you cut the shorter sides first and you stuff it up, then you've got firewood. Let's see how close we are. <clears throat> okay, okay, I've got a smidgen more to come off. Getting very closer. And don't, you know, just take it in one great big chunk. Just creep up on it. And then once you've got one, then you can set a block up. Okay, and there we go. So now all I have to do is cut one edge, which we'll do on here. Doesn't matter which edge. So cut all the, we'll do it when, when we get into production. We'll cut all of them to a standard length with square ends. Then we'll dock one mitre off one end. And then we set up a stop block by using the one we know is right one. What you do is you pull it down, move your sample piece up to the back of the blade. This is right on the edge, so what we will do is just move this for a tick. There we go. So that's where it is there, so I've got to get something that will sit there like that. And we get a clamp. And something underneath, like that. 
And there you go. So once you've got one miter cut, all you have to do is put the miter you've cut up to there, like this. Move that up, bearing in mind if we had them cut short, which we haven't done yet. I'll get this one over here. Okay, <coughs> so that's square end, mitered end. Put the miter end up against, where are we? I'm having this great conversation. You can't see a flipping thing because I didn't, I didn't change it. All right. So what I'm saying, I'll start again. All right. You've got your square bits here that you've cut. Cut a miter on one end. This one I know is the right size because I've tested it. So then rough cut all your pieces to an acceptable length, larger than you need. Mitre one end, and then when you've got all that, you set up a stop block, which is exactly the size that you want. Then you put your mitered edge up against that stop block. And you cut your mitre. And that one should fit in there very nicely, as it does. So there you go. All right, so what we'll do now, we'll dock up square all the bits we need to start with, then we'll mitre one end, and then we'll do that, and then we'll get the side bits, or the end bits. And Jesus, that's rough in there. There's some oil. Oh, I'll have to do it later. That is not good. I don't, don't like it when it's stiff like this. It's obviously got sawdust in it. So. There we go. All right, so that's what we're going to do now is rip all these to size first. Then we'll dock them with square ends to an oversize that we need. Then we'll mitre one end, set that stop block up, cut all those, then we'll have these done. So I've got another 11, 22 of these to cut. Let me. Uh, hey, Pascal, how are you? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Look, Bob doesn't limit himself to the scrap bin anyway. He's quite happy to chew a job that I'm doing. Yeah, mate, I've got to make the calls. And, um, I'm right, right back to where, um, but, um, but, uh, Jane said, just like my house, any flat horizontal surface accumulates stuff. Yep, um, my friend calls them catch-alls, anywhere <laughs> where there's bench space. That's why I like small benches. Mm. Uh, I hate reaching over my other side. <laughs> oh, I'm left-handed. Yeah, that, that's it. Start with 10 and finish with 10. It's a good day, George. Hey, can do, Brazil. You're more than welcome. Oh, good day, Pascal. Please, you're well. Yeah, oh, that's true. I've got, I've got some graphite up in the mechanic shed. For those who don't know, I've been blessed with the place that I live and I've been able to have, I've got this woodworking shed here, machinery shed next door, timber shed next door to that, woodworking shed next to that, blacksmithing um, shop in there, a mechanics workshop, and I was going to have a metal machinery shed, but Susie wants another sewing shed, so I dip out. 
Yeah, mate. Yeah, you see all you, you're watching, you're thinking I'm right-handed, but it's not. You come around this side of the camera and you'll find it totally different. <laughs> I tell you what, the, the thing with that miter saw, which I love, is it's got a, a hand grip, right, which you grip, and the guard comes up, and then with your pointer, you actually start, I'll go and show you. You, you then start the saw. So here we go, see if we can do it here. Where are we? Are we there? Where's my hand? There we go, okay. So you grab that, that brings up the saw guard, and then here you've got the switch, which this finger pulls. But if I'm cutting on the outboard and I have to do it left-handed, it is a royal pain because this part is okay doing that, but to hit that switch there, I've got to use my little pinky. And <laughs> that's not the strongest finger on your hand, I tell you. I can do it now, but oh, it took me a long time to get around to doing it. Mm. Okay, so what are we going to do? Um, we'll rip this stuff, then we'll dock the length. So, which docking shall we use? How many other side I've got? I've got 22. Oh, gee whiz. So, get one, two, three, four. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, we'll just say I might have to machine some more up. We'll see how we go. Okay, let's go over to the table saw. We'll rip some stuff up. This is just on the borderline, too, of going underneath my fence. So I'm lucky. All right, Max, just for you, I will put, I'll put my eye muffs on. No, I haven't even got me camo ones. I don't know where my camo ones are. There we go. All good. What I'm going to do is I want the tops and bottoms to line up. I'll just mark these so I can... ...keep them in order. Hello, Alan.
Okay, that's got all those done. And my grandson's just come in to say good day, so we can have a chat with him. <laughs> if you want to have a chat, or if you just want to be in the background, that's all right. Just want to be in the background. Well, that's all right. Well, you can talk, you can you can just sit there and look handsome. I'll just rip this last bit. Let me think. Mm. What's happening up in the big house? Nanny's on the phone. Now he's watching YouTube. Who's Nanny on the phone with? No idea. Oh, there you go. Mm. Yeah, well, that you could <laughs> add to. Hey, a toothing plane would be nice because you get a real crinkle cut on your cheese then, Jeff. Prunella said, G'day, kiddo. That's you. Uh, Oh, the, I don't like them mandolins. They're up there with the um, 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 spindle models, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, no, the grip is good. It, it, does, it does have issues, but uh, in the main, I like it. It's not uh, what I'd call really brilliant when it comes to doing thick stuff on the jointer, but for doing small stuff like that, yeah, it definitely makes your fingers feel more relaxed. Stuff, you just push it through your hand with your hands. Yeah, yeah, but you still got to look out for your fingers. Mm. Uh, what are we? This is nearly as good as a theme park ride. <laughs> there you go. Um, was I in the way of most of those shots? Good on me. It's all right. I use my vision. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we made, what did we made pasta the other day? We used a Japanese saw, a hammer, um, a one inch chisel, an axe. It's amazing. Well, I like that haircut. That's a good haircut. <laughs> Max says, Good day, young Anthony. Hello. That, that's hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> did you use a Japanese saw? The, <laughs> uh, Mark says, G'day, g'day, Mark, how you going? When are you going to stop growing? Yeah, I tell you what, the day we stop feeding him, you're not allowed to chain him to the bed anymore. Apparently, it's, it's against this animal cruelty or something, I don't know. <laughs> We're not animals. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Let me go and cut some of these up. Let's see how we go. That looks good enough to me. Now, if I can, if I'm clever, I'll see if I no, I won't. I was hoping I'd get two out of that, but I'm not going to. So I'll just, I just dock them all to that length. All right, let's go over back over there. I won't stand in the way this time. All right, who was that, Captain Jeff? So, okay, let's go. The camera oh, that's a good shot, that is. Yes. <laughs> is this front of the shutter? Oh. No, I was using this saw over here and I was standing in front. But the most important thing was I could see what I was doing. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll cut this, which... Um, actually, I think I will cut that there. Gives me a little bit. Let me just have a look. See. Ow. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> what? What? What's true? I'm reading the comments for you. Oh well, there's no good reading them for me. I can't hear. I mean, they can't hear because I've got the microphone in there. Hey, Anthony, when are you starting woodworking? Mm, already have in a sense, but don't get down the shed too much. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a long way. It's 32 steps from the back door to the smith shed. <laughs> and then it's an extra 15 from the smithy shed to the wood lathe. Yeah, so what? 
Uh, hey, Mike. Have Anthony read the comments here? Yeah, I know, but... Oh, thanks. Slave driver. I like to have a bit of a rest. That means I'm going to have to... We might be able to do it. I don't know. I, I can't put two mics on the cameras. I've got a Zoom mic, so we might... We might try that tomorrow if Anthony wants to. Do you want to come down and read comments? Yeah, sure. But you got to read. You read them. You don't go. All right. You got to read them out so I can understand them. Okay. You're not allowed to say that neither. You got to be shh, nice. Ah, oh, I never thought of a Midas saw. I have, hang on, Bryce, I never thought of. Well, what was that question? Oh, I've missed it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> oh. Well, I was going to get Susie to do it, but she's flat out up there making trifle and cleaning the house. All right, let's go over and I'm going to dock this stuff up. Um, we'll set up a a stop like I did before and I've <laughs> what have I done with that bit of paper stuff that I I put it away okay so this is the length we want so that can go there they can't hear you mate because I've got the mic <laughs> so what was it Oh, that's got to be Max. That it is. <laughs> Your secret's out, Max. Okay. So, let me just see if this is going to do the job. Even go a little longer. So I like to have. Uh, I can't go much longer because I'll go off the off the thing. So that'll do. Okay, how many do I need? I've got two there, so I need 22. I've got one here. Got one there, so that's 20, isn't it? So I've got one there, or is that too short? Uh, where's the box? Where's the box? No, that's a good size. It'll do. So... See, it's no good you're doing that. You've got to read them out. No, it's funny. Cause... Yeah, but you're reading the comments. You're meant to read all the comments. And, and express an opinion. See? Yeah. When mischievous side is coming out knowing Anthony is going to be doing, going to be reading comments aloud. But, but I'll be nice. nice. Yeah, don't you dare, Captain Ken. Um, I bet you he can read them and shout. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So twenty. So I've got these to go. I've got, no, I've got twenty of these to cut. All right. If anyone asks a question. You read, it aloud. you read it aloud for me. All righty. Is that what I mean about me, Pinky? All right, here we go.
That's very hard left handed. All right, so at the moment we've got four, eight, 12, 16. So much, keep them all in order, they'll work out. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Yeah, that one. Um, with a saw, same way as I do mine, so, uh, if you know the thickness of the box, I'm going to, you could use a cross cut, you could use a tenon saw, you could use whatever you like, so if you've got a box like this and you want to take the top off, work out where you want the top to be and then we might even do it there you go i don't know let's have a shot all the boxes you have to do papa no all those black bean ones are the ones i've got to do now whoops and the other ones all turn into um cigar humidors oh. so i've been busy down here um Okay, we'll do that. So I've worked out I want the same lid on this. Mark it with a marking gauge. All the way around. There we go. Now there's several ways. Okay, you can do this. You put that in the vise. If you know the thickness of the... Um, Papa, move the camera. What? You only see it getting the edge. Oh, okay. Oh, he's, now he's a director. Hey, I'm just doing small details. And then cut in that slot that your marking gauge is done. Um, and follow that all the way through. Don't cut all the way through the box. So what I would do, Just follow that. I don't know if I'll cut this all off today. But I'm following that mark. Whoops, went off the line there. Got a 
concentrate. If you've got um, actually a back saw, would might be. We'll try a back saw. That'll be easier to start it, and then I'll cut it with the. And I, I got a big back saw, and I could cheat. Okay, so now I've got a saw cut happening there. I would. Continue cutting There we go Until you get down to nearly the depth of the thickness of the box but don't go through the box. So just do that all the way around, and then leave just a fraction, and then you can cut through that with a knife, that way you won't get it clamped. I, I've got a cut there that I really didn't want, but that's all right, I can cover that up because these are gonna get stained anyway. Um, or the other thing is you could use a scratch stock if you've got one of those, um, or a very thin, blade in an old woman's tooth, you set up a fence and you keep on going down until you get through it. But if I have to do it just by hand, that's what I would do, a saw. Let me, yeah, we'll try this one. No, no not that one. No, it's got a slight kink in it. What, in the blade or the? Yeah, in the blade. My fault. No, it's just accidents happen. They're very, very thin blades. If you really wanted to, you could cut through it like this. Well, very interesting. I've, I've never actually cut the top of a box with a handsaw before. Yep. But you can see. If I did that on all four sides, and then I can just cut through with a knife, that box lid will come off fairly nicely. Not something you can rush. You're going to have to take your time with it. If I, if, if I was in that situation, I think I'd find someone that had a bandsaw and I'd go and use that. Um, I do need an ambidextrous machine, absolutely. What else have we got? Um, just had a thought, would it be better to have you wood stop on the right hand side? Um, no, I can't do that because I haven't got a table on the other side, Max. It's, uh, the way it's set up. The way it's set up is I've got an outboard, outrigger on this side and there is one that fits on this side but I don't use it because I've got a little alleyway in there to get stuff when I'm using the table saw. So that's why it's set up on that side. But good thinking. I hope that helped whoever wanted to know. Oh there you John. What's the best way to cut a box top with only hand saws? Well there you go. Or well, the other thing is if you really wanted to I suppose you could use a, a chisel and do it take a long time. Oh, of course it's going to take a long time. 
Okay, Steve, I have a question. If I were making a wooden hinge out of six mil thick jar, what size diameter <coughs> would you make the pin? Also made out of jarra. Um, look, what I'd use, funny you should mention that, I, I actually had a wooden one floating around here somewhere that I made. Yeah, wooden hinge. Um, but what I would suggest you do, because they are pretty hard to make a pin that small, I would use, oh dear, I don't know where they are at the moment, it's a pickle in here, but I'd use a, a toothpick. Just go to the dollar shop, buy those little um, dispensing toothpick things, cost you about two bucks, and it's bamboo, and they make excellent pins. That's what I was using in my hinges. I don't know the diameter, um, but that's what I'd be doing. Um, what are you? I've got a, a quiz. Yeah, yeah quarter, well, that's quarter inch. Where's quarter inch? Give me a. Give me a gimme. Uh, quarter inch. Okay, well, I'd use, in that case, get a kebab. Get a kebab stick or one of those sash licks sticks, you know, the long bamboo ones. I would use that possibly on a quarter inch um, hinge as a pin and then just stain it red, stain it jarrah. That way you've got good, strong, straight grain and it's round which is good. You're welcome, John. Yeah, that's, um, I generally use a, a table saw. I think it was a few, we a few weeks ago, it feels like. A few days ago, we ripped all those off on the table saw and just left the thickness of a veneer about 0.6 of a mil and then cut that out with the um, knife. It was good. Yeah, you can do brass. Uh, get a brass brazing rod. They're, um, they're about 3 64ths, I think. So, yeah, brass brazing rod would be great. Not a drama. All right, where are we up to? Um, I was doing those. Have I got enough? One, two, three, four. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'll tell you what, any, any more and we'd be wrong. There you go, any closer and it wouldn't be right. Now, so I've got those, which we can do. We might as well do the, the mortise, uh, the, um, shall we? No, no, we'll do the insides first or, no, I've got to do, got to do the top. I'm thinking as I go here, I've got to do the tops as well. So we better cut those up. No one hasn't. That's, oh, these haven't been. These haven't been routed yet, so we can do those. Yeah, so I've got to do inside the lid because the lid. Where's the lid, mate? Where's, where's the lid? Where'd the hearts go? The ones? Nah. Okay, so I've got the hearts are going to go in here. <laughs> I've lost them at the moment. Um, but I also want to have solid edging to hold the hearts in. So I've got to cut more of this to go in there. So I suppose... No, because it's easier, and I've got to use the router again, we'll uh, cut these up first. So what length? I'll we'll cut those at the same length. There you go. No dramas. Pink pajamas. So I've got to have what? Twenty-two of these, mate. Uh, yeah. Twenty-two. There you go. Yeah, that's all good. It's 
Watch the chat. Good. It's a good lad. And they've got me back. I'm going to have to move the camera again. Oh. Oh. Hmm? <coughs> you media tart. We'll go over here. Hey, you like Bob? Just got to be, got to be on camera. Eight, twelve, sixteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, if I can get two out of that. That'll be that would be good if I can do it. So that's 20, I think. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. I need another 2. That we can do. And then it still fell down. Two, okay. Oh, hang on. No, I need 24, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, because I didn't. Is that going to be? That'll do. Take one of those. very much. What was what? I just heard something like a piece of blade coming off. No, piece of blade, no, just a bit of timber threw off. Two, so it's four, eight, twelve, 16, 20, 24. Okay, so that's ready to go. <coughs> um, yeah. Now I've got to, oh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to machine some more up because I haven't got enough for everything else. <coughs> oh. So what width do I need that? I'll be back over there in a ticking. There and there, okay.
Okay. Well, I'm going to have to do some more machining. So what we'll do, we'll go over to the router and run this on the router first. That should all be set up. And I can get these smaller bits. Where are we? Am I on the router, mate? Yeah, on the they router. Look good? Okay. Let's rock and roll. <coughs> if any questions come up, just ask yeah. me. Oh, they're going mad because I'm on the router. Is that right? Uh, yeah. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, because they care about me.
Yeah. What? They want to name all the routers. They want to name all the routers? Oh, okay. Well, like Jaws and <coughs> Scarface and Oh, oh mate, if I wasn't on that screen, mm -hmm. you got to tell me, all right? There's no good. Yeah. Look what camera I'm on there, see? They missed out on all that fun of me. No, they me. did. They did, did have it. Did it Did it just change? Yeah. Oh, well, that's all right then. Because they, they, they love watching the blood. It's, they sit on the edge of their seats waiting to watch a finger go flying in the air. See? No, you did come over and change it. Oh, there you go. That's because I almost like don't know what I'm doing at the moment. Ha! All right. Danger, danger, danger. We need code names. That's it. The ouch factor. Oh, there we go. Which slot is that one off? What's, which one? What, what, what? No, slightly off of that one there. Yeah, you can put that one on. Just slide him on. All right. What are we doing? Hey, Chewy, Chewy in the house. There you go. Oh, yeah, Mark, I know. Big grin on your face. Was there something going on with you and the lathe? Oh, no, Max doesn't like the lathe. He runs away. I'm off the bed. See you, Chad. Thanks for coming in, mate. We'll catch you tomorrow. What? <laughs> oh, thanks, Chad. You weren't, you weren't reading the chat. I was. You're rubbish. Look, look, nice hanging with you. If Steve goes looking for the hearts, tell him they're stacked in the box behind him. There. See? God, I tell you, oh, I'm lucky I'm not paying you that much. You're not paying me at all. Yeah, you can't get much less than that. <laughs> all right, there they are. So it's all good. All right, let's go and knock these over. Uh, always close your eyes. Whoa. <laughs> I know, no, I don't want to do that. I tell you what, though, when I've had a nasty bang, I... <laughs> I grab whatever has been hit and I'm not going to look. But everything, look, look, everything's all good. Okay, let's go. Except for the time you cut the side of your finger off. Oh, no, yeah, I'll show them that. On the, on, yeah, and that wasn't even a machine, was it? No. That's how dumb that was. <coughs> uh, right, now. We'll just slice and dice these. Uh. Eh? Sounds like me getting out of bed in the morning. Eh? I, I got up when you get up. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's right. Close up. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. There you go. There you go. Okay.
Oh. Yes. Can't understand you, mate. What? What am I always talking about? What are you boys talking about? It's clearly pointy, pointy, bang, bang. <laughs> There's Prunella. Shh, got to be nice to Prunella. Because <laughs> she'll ban you otherwise. She's queen of the moderators. She commands the northern lights to twinkle. That's how powerful she is. Isn't that right, my dear? Get out the back of How you going, mate? Yeah, I wonder where you've been the last couple of days. Ah, oh, pray. It's morning for Steve in Australia. So it's fun morning sort of in the air. Da, 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 da. Microsurgery is great. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Anthony, when you get a fright like I did when you were young, you never forget. Mate, he's got me bringing him up. Do you reckon that'd be fright enough? <laughs> That's why Max doesn't. Like the... Yeah. Because uh, he doesn't like the lathe. <laughs> the back of maker. What? Now, Pramela, what is your preferred name? Oh, Your Highness, I think. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh. now you you can you can sit there and do what you do. Hang on, give me one of these, and I'll set up this stop. And then when I've done that, merci. Ah, uh, yeah. Why not? You can do that if you wish, jellyfish. Do it. Okay. There we go. All right. We're probably going to have to go back up to our house because I've got business studies. Oh, hey, well, isn't this business studies? Oh, you mutt. Who? Me. Silly Billy. What? I didn't do the rest of these. I'll do, I'll do these first and then at least we got them done. Oh, well, is that online, is it? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. No worries. Okay, let's just... Let's just see if this is going to fit. Oh, look at that. Something, something's wrong. It fits. There you go. Always take something going well as a bad open. <laughs> yeah, they enjoy things like that. See, because <laughs> I'm not really that good. <laughs> Compared to me, you're better. <laughs> yeah, but you got a better beard than I can. At least you got colour in yours. Hello, Bob. I'm going to stick to Royal Highness Prunella because I'm nice. Oh, dear. What well, really would be funny if the Queen actually watched you? Yeah, wouldn't it? Did you know Did you know one of your great uncles used to fly the Queen and Prince Philip around? He was. He was a uh, group captain. I think he might have ended up as a wing commander, but he was Prince Philip's personal navigator. That was your... Great grandmother's brother, Uncle Fred. He's now passed away, but there you go. And we used to get each year, we used to get Christmas cards, and it was of Buckingham Palace, and it was the Queen's Flight, RAF. There you go. Well, Air Force. No project too big. Chuck, get out, mate. Trevor, she's going to ban you. You'll have a moderator's fight. <laughs> yeah.
you have opened the can of worms there, girl, I tell you. Yeah, HRH Prunella. Yeah, there you go. I like that. See you, John. Have a good night, mate. Catch you later on. Oh, there you go. You've got to give back. No, he's just left, Max. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, he's, he's still there, is he? Oh, hello, dog. Hey, give us a look. I thought he had something wrong with his eye there for a minute. What? No, oh, no, it was just, no, it just looked a bit weird. But he's good. Okay. Let's get the change the camera over, mate. Uh, Close up. Yep. And you can press the one next to it if you like. On the right to that, it says close up me or something or other. Uh, it's not hard. It's the one you press, the one to the right of it. Uh, yeah, there you go. And then you're on screen up there. Oh, all right. I've got to do these one at a time. Turn that off a bit. I've got to do these one at a time. I can't stack them up. I wish I could, but then you get too many inaccuracies and just quiet without the thing in it. Yeah, if I stacked them up, like that and went to take a cut oh actually i might we'll try <laughs> could could get horrible let's have a look oh no there you go that's all right i i got big mundo um big plate uh, mundo his hands so i can hold them if not, they would have kicked up and done all sorts of horrible things. So we might do that in the spirit of expediency. You've got to keep a firm hand on them or they will. They'll buckle and kick on you, which isn't very nice. Not nice at all. Whoops. It took me a while to get used to this saw because your hand's under there and then when you bring this down you sort of think, ah! But no, it's, it's all right. But it... It is a bit disconcerting to start with. What's that? <laughs> and don't forget the Min Min lights, mate. I've never seen those and I don't think we've got drop bears. You, you, you've been out bush, we've got drop bears, you've, you've seen. You have. You were asleep when they came out. Okay, so how are we looking here? Are we looking good? Oh, I nearly trod on his tail. I did. Nearly trod on the 
fluffy bloke's tail. Okay. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. Okay. Twenty-four. No, no, wrong size. Have a look. Different sizes. Twenty-two. So one. Two, oh, there's one. It's fallen down there. One, two, and one, two. Yeah. Is there another one over there, mate, by itself? Oh, here's the other one. I got the other I got him. I got him. It's all good. Okay. So hopefully these are all going to fit in. No project too big. Are you counting your fingers? Um, no, because I know they're there. But <laughs> if one fell off, I would know, Chuck. Because <laughs> I'd go and scratch myself and I'd miss. Okay, what have we got? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. Twenty-four of those. Okay, they're good to go. Look at that. They should all fit in there. Not look at that. Are we good ants or what? Look, 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 look. See, I can't do that without Anthony standing there supervising. I'm not your father. It's just like a taller version of his grandmother. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> I am not. No, Nanny is. Thanks, John. Or Devon. Devon. All right, mate. Catch you later. Uh, the bears love chickens, but the trigger my they tr yeah. the bears love chickens, but they trigger my cameras easily. Foxes and weasels are difficult for their for careless to detect. Yeah, when we when we went up to get um, all that blue gum for charcoal, the chap there he's got a, a camera and he caught deer, didn't he? Mm. Caught deer on his camera. Yeah. I mean, his yeah, the dogs, there's kangaroos and. Wallabies and um, I think he had it there for, for foxes or pigs. But, uh, yeah, it's all good. They're great little cameras, those. Now, let me just... Sorry, mate. Well, if you've got to have a tail hanging out, you've got to expect people to tread on it now and again. What have we got? We've got one there. One there. And one there, so that's two. I'm just recounting. No, that's out of a different box, different box here. So... Okay, so there's four. So we got four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Okay, you're forever counting, but you're much better to count and get it wrong and then find the one you've lost rather than thinking everything's great. Like a couple of days ago I did that. I um, veneered all the edging, all this edging on the boxes in the stream and then when I finished I came back down and there was one there I hadn't done and your heart just sinks because you think, oh, once that part of the project's over, it's done. But no, not the case. Oh, isn't that lovely? They were wild deer or do you have a deer farm nearby that they've escaped from? That's Apparently that's what's happened here. We used to have deer farms in the area and some of them escaped and went uh, rogue and went wild. Okay, catch you, Mitch. Have a great lunch. We'll catch you tomorrow, hopefully. I hope you enjoyed it. Everyone that's leaving, if you haven't done so and you'd like to, I'd appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and notification, then you'll know what I'm on. I'll be on same time tomorrow and continuing with this. Hopefully, we'll be actually finishing them tomorrow. Let's hope. But you can see how long just little bits take. It's not, oh, I'll quickly do this. I honestly underestimated this. I thought this would have been done in an hour, an hour and a half maximum, and I would have moved on to doing more work on the hearts, but that's not the case. <laughs> Who's that? Backer. 
Yeah, no, it's all right. It's 34 watts. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, I tell you what, there's a point. What? Check the batteries. We haven't done a battery check. Oh, I'm down to two bars on that one. So I'll just go over and check the other one. Because this, this uh, mic I'm using at the moment, it has three bars. The other mic I'm using only has two. And, yep, yeah, that's down to two, so we're good. We're good. Hey, where would I might where would you send the microphone to get repaired? Because that one that I dropped yesterday, I've got to get that fixed. So I don't know where to go for that. If anyone's got any ideas what sort of shops would be the people to to ask. Okay, I'm gonna cut these mitres here. It's got a couple of spare ones here, so. I might do those just in case. Uh. I'm not going to put that on. You can change the shot over, mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I noticed he's still in the corner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good on you. That's good. Don't you worry about it. Everything's finance. Um, I'm just a little bit thinking. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. Brisbane one? Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Who sent that one in? Oh, there you go. Oh, it's nice to know you're looking after your subjects there. I'm over this, I'll tell you. It's a real awkward angle to be holding that. And a lucky last. Okay. I think it better. Could have done those in batches too. But.
There you go. All right. Give me one, give me one, give me one. Give me one of these good ones. One yep. I'll set this fence up again. Ah! Don't want it turned on. sure it's all that's right make sure it's all good and if it is we'll do the rest of them sorry Bob shankle right. okay that's good enough so we'll do the rest of those now we we'll have to make sure answers in there. Did you put that tongue away? You'll be famous. You'll be getting fan mail soon. Okay, we'll do. Hmm? <laughs> you weren't up answering all my thing this morning, were you? Oh. Oh, I get enough to keep me busy, believe me. And I love it. I love it. That uh, tick, 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 you can hear is actually the brake on the saw blade. It's got an electronic brake on it to stop the blade. If, if not, ah, don't like those. If not, yeah, it keeps spinning and it's dangerous, whereas this is good. I really thought we'd be further ahead than this today, but that's just the way it goes. And that's, that's a problem when you quote a job. It's very hard. Sometimes because you think, oh, yeah, that'll take an hour and a half, that'll take an hour. And in actual fact, it can take a lot longer. I always used to throw an extra couple of hours on. I'd work it out, what I thought it was, and I'd generally add another couple of hours, two or three hours on top, just to give me a bit of fat there. And then if it did come in under what I quoted, well, I'd give them a, you know, give them a refund, or if it came in over what I quoted, well, at least I've got a little bit of Fat there, I can play with. Okay. I'm hoping they all fit in the box. 
I'm hoping they all fit in the box, and they do. So there you go. There's all the... What am I looking at there? Oh, that's that one. There you go. That's all the long ones for the boxes. That's all the long ones for the tops. I've now got to do the short ones, these ones along here. And then what I wanted to do today, <laughs> where we had other stuff to do, was um, cut out cardboard bases and fit the leather on. I just use ordinary, um, what do you call these? What are these? Cereal. Cereal. Cereal, that's it. Cereal boxes. Do you know how these end? No. No, well, they don't because they're a cereal. Ah! Uh, Sorry, no, dad joke. All right. See, wisdom wasted on the young. What can I tell you? Yeah, except the way you impart it is to dad jokes. Yeah, well, I might as well be your dad. Yeah. There, there you go. It's all right. <laughs> well, we tell people we've got five boys. That's it. Big fan from Canada. Wake me. Oh, well, thank you very much. Appreciate that. If you do like it and you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. That would be terrific. Okay. Uh, could you ask him why he cuts backwards? Yeah. Because I cut it the wrong way to start with. So that, that's it. I had a senior's moment. <laughs> I, on my life is a senior's moment, I tell you. Uh, but no, me and Noe and Dad and Uncle Steve are, uh, aren't mistakes, are we? No! Not mistakes at all. Love you the bits. Wouldn't change you for anything. You're a good chap. Um, <laughs> da 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 Maybe they aren't ends and it won't matter. Oh, there you go. No, it's all good. Hadn't heard that one before. It made me giggle. Which one was that? I don't know. I... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can understand now, bro. Yeah, it was. It was shocking, wasn't it? I don't care. I'm getting delirium. I've inhaled too much cedar dust. But I tell you what, I'm going to have to pull the pin there. The reason being, I've got to go to the shed and pull another stick of timber and machine it up to do the rest of these. So nothing real clever is going to happen from there on. But tomorrow, ha, oh, tomorrow, hopefully, we've got to get it all together. So I've got to do pull an all-nighter tonight. I've got to refit the hinges on the ones I haven't put the hinges on. Um, put a finish coat on these. Phil, there's a, a mark up here. That's what I wanted to do, but I'll do that wrong. Um, I want to put some hot wax in there and show you how I do that, but I'll do that uh, tonight. And then we've got a hot glue. I've got hot glue guns there. Hot glue the fabric onto the inside like that. And then put these into the tops, then fit this stuff I've just machined. Got to put a finish on the outside. We've got to make little dots up to go underneath. And that's it. All then you, done. Then you can fit it. That's it. All, all finished. Then and then I'm going to collapse in a heap. <laughs> and I'm not doing this ever, ever again. I'm over deadlines. That's it. Yeah. You'd much prefer to be up in the shed. In the front shed, turning wood. Oh, I don't know. I'm enjoying doing this. It's just that um, deadlines are a bit, you know, how you go. Uh, pizza tomorrow. No, we will do it, Brian. We won't do it. Once I've got these out, and as Ancy said, when I'm up in the top shed, we'll do some um, turning. Yeah, we might do some pizza because the turning shed's right next to the blacksmithing forge. So we'll fire the forge. Look at this. Pizza. <laughs> and it's good because you've got to... Hand crank the handle, so you've got to do it yourself. Yeah. 
All right, well, that's it. So this is Steve and Anthony pulling the shed door down and saying, remember to keep it sharp, but more importantly, keep it safe. Look after yourself. And in these times, definitely take care of yourself. Be kind to each other and maybe be a little bit more tolerant, show respect. That's how we're going to get through this. I really appreciate everyone in the chat room for joining in. If you've been lurking on the outsides, by all means, jump in tomorrow and have a chat. Say good day to everybody. They're a friendly bunch. And uh, I thank all the moderators for doing an excellent job and I thank everyone in the chat room for giving me the support because I tell you what, it really helps when you guys are out there. I can feel the energy and the love even when you're giving me a bit of stick, so it's all good. So anyway, remember, may your God bless you, God, you're on your way. And be safe and enjoy what you do even if you can't do it as much as you'd like. So till tomorrow, see ya. Thank you.